I just did an eighth inch round over and seven out of the eight pieces went really well. This one, you can see what happened here. I had some blow out here and along there. So I've got a little repairing to do. All right, I've collected my sawdust from the uh, sanding of my inside of these pieces of plywood. I'm gonna use just yellow glue and sawdust here and see how it goes. Now the one thing I'm gonna do is take this credit card and just fill that void, those small voids with glue as I scrape it across. Right, this is the, my setup for cutting these, rough cutting these holes, I guess, even though it is a hole saw, it cuts a pretty clean hole. I got my piece clamped in place, and uh, I've discovered that as I'm working this hole saw, it clogs up, so I'll show you a little trick I've come up with to clean it out quickly and get on with it. So, here we go. So that made pretty quick work of it. 
but just taking this wire brush and running it on the inside and then maybe sometimes on the outside cleans out those gullets and uh, allows me to get back in there and get to work. I just sanded this with uh, 180. Went, I went right to 180 with this plywood. And um, the only reason I did it was because I wanted the, the area where the uh, pieces fall here. Let's see if I can show you what I mean. This area, I wanted it to be smooth. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. I, I was thinking about lining them, but uh, if I don't, I wanted that to be smooth so it would be accept a, a finish and, and look good. So I've got that ready to go. Uh, I'm going to do the other half. I've made some, uh, some custom pins out of uh, some oak that I have. So those are, are ready to go. And I'm getting ready to sand this other half, I failed to mention it on the on that other piece I showed you. As I sand, these numbers disappear. So I'm writing them on the inside of these holes so that I know that uh, I won't lose my place when it comes to that. That would have been not a complete disaster, but sorting all that out would have been more, very time consuming. This way I've got my marks and I don't have to worry about sanding. Well, I'm happy to report that stain disappeared, so I'm happy about that, even though you wouldn't be seeing it, but that looks good. Some of these pins are very tight. Now, this one here is not, but I'm going to get these started so that when I go to put this down, I know exactly where it's going to go. And then I'll put glue underneath on the bottom side of this on one side only. And then we'll then I'll clamp it in place. Let me drive these pins in. That one's that one's good. That one's good. I'm not gonna I'm not going to glue the pins. They're just for alignment only and decoration basically. Now oh, that'll be good. Time like the present, I guess. Now I'm thinking about these joints here. No glue on this one, but this one here, I might put a little glue on that. Gotta find my glue bottle. There it is. I hope I'm not getting ahead of myself here, but. I don't know of anything else I need to do to prep this. I think I'm I think I'm good to go. And keep the glue to the outside.
Well, I've only got enough clamps to do half at a time here. So I'll let this cook for a while. And then I'll come back and do the other half. Um, maybe it's a good thing too. It'll give me a chance for, to get this for some of this glue to set up and I can clean it up uh, while this other one is being clamped. It looks good. And it's gonna... I think it's gonna be good.